away from this forest for the city. In this city, there lived parking lot builder buggies with giant wheels. This was in the olden times. These buggies worked for competing companies and would fight as hard as they could to build the most parking lots. As, as cities slowly turned into nothing but parking lots, the trucks received orders from their bosses to expand into the forest outside their cities. One day, there was a jaguar sipping peacefully from the magical lake water. Suddenly, he heard a noise behind him. Moon! Um, this is my home. Well, this is my job. What even is your job? My job is to break in as a parking lot builder. Excuse me. My job is to cut down the trees and build parking lots in their place. So? I don't care about it. This is just me. Do you want me to get tired? Um, duh. If that means you'll leave me alone. I've got to support my truck family though. So? Do you even have a family? Yes. Brothers. Sisters. Cousins. Do you even have a heart? How dare you call me heartless! Listen, if you love your family, then you should go take care of them. That means my job. I take care of them by using this magical lake water. Magical lake water? The magical properties will make you feel full and fully clean. This is nothing for me. I'm a buggy. I'm a buggy. It's real. How about this? You take some of this magical lake water and use it to wash your buggy. The magical properties will make it glisten and glint. Are you trying to make it feel? Well, actually, I am. I don't trust you. How about this? You take your worst enemy and bring him to you. He will try the magical lake water and prove to you that the water is magical. Hmm. Sure. Us trucks can ping each other by... Radio, satellite, you want something?
Suddenly a loud sound similar to the wind swept across the land. A giant slow flushing sound sound came from the lake and the water level started to fall. Luckily, a kangaroo jumped into action, grabbed a little bit of water, and put it in their pouch and hopped off with it. And it was just in time, for the lake soon became empty. Dendridge was very happy because they thought that they had won. But what they had really won was the battle, not the war. Seymour caught the kangaroo out of the corner of their eye and winked at them while continuing to act surprised. Turns out the kangaroo was way too fast for Denridge to catch and for the animals to see. Hence why they were all so devastated. They thought all the water was gone. The parking lot trucks hunted down all the animals and captured them to be put in zoos. They were very uncomfortable and reluctant at first, and they would try to escape. But every time they got out, the parking lot trucks would hunt them down and put them back in zoos. As the years went on, the animals forgot they used to live outside in the world and became comfortable in their zoos. They would do anything to stay in them. There was no more forest for them to live in, and they thought this was the best option. And the one, and the two, and the three. Once you do your mile workouts right there, Thank you. 
Open up. 